This is Tennis Sucks Podcast. I'm here with Travis Rettenmeyer, who got totally destroyed about 10 minutes ago by Ryan Sherry, dad bod. Uh, embarrassing. And, it's not um, the first time I've lost to a guy that parties six days a week, Graham, so I'm really not that worried about it. And you were a horrible manager, horrible support system, so it's actually you to blame. And uh, we're here with our special guest today, Hannah Johns, and as usual, our producer, Producer Ro. That works. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Hey, I did not know the name of your podcast was Tennis Sucks. But I do love it. Yeah. As an ex tennis player who now never picks up a racket. Kind of sucks. Yeah. You're sitting next to you're Everybody. sitting next to a couple the of those. The king of that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so the first thing I, I I definitely wanted to bring up, and by the way, we're here at the PPA. Uh, it's the Hertz. You know this better than I do. Hertz Championship Hertz in National Orlando. National Championship. Yeah. In Orlando. In Orlando, and uh, you know, now that we have this um, connection with PPA and MLP and. And We're the here. Airport. And the and overhead the airport. airport. They won't hear that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the planes going overhead. Um, I wanted to start out by, I don't think everyone knows this, but you do play pickleball and you're actually very good. And I've asked you this in the past. Very is a strong word. I think but. you're great. <laughs> Tra- don't ask Travis. He doesn't think anyone's good but himself. Well, after how she referenced me in the beginning, I'm not going to be oh, very kind. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eye for an eye. <laughs> Leaves the whole world blind. That's my philosophy. That's actually a great story, too. I forgot when yeah. Hannah and I kind of first met and started playing, Travis was out on the courts, and we played with Travis. And, it was his uh, first time playing, I think. I think it was yeah. like, yeah, and very I was, early. Yeah. And I said to Hannah, what do you think about Travis? He was a former tennis pro, and he's like, for as good as he was in tennis, I thought he'd be a lot better. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And I, I agree with that, that statement. <laughs> Which I feel like has really maybe taken you to where you are, Travis. You got you take that and use it as motivation. You're like, Hannah was a bit. Ooh. No, you can, can say, say that. Uh, yeah, I agree, I agree with that statement. Um, yeah, did you take it? Did you use it? I bet you did. I, yeah, I use a lot of that. <laughs> Do you keep like a running tab? Pardon? Do you keep a running tab <laughs> of the people who said things about you? I mean, it's so endless. <laughs> That would be impossible. Including your own, you know, supporter. I live off the spite and the neglect and the negativity, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, We all have motivations. If you don't know, there's some music blasting in the background pretty loud in the commercial breaks while the women's match is going on. But Rowan says he can still hear us, so as long as we can hear each other, I think we're okay. It should go off in a minute or two here. But, uh, so I wanted to ask you, like I said before, is... Why haven't you thought about going pro? And I know you're going to laugh at that because you're probably a 4'5 or 5'0 female player. I I know this to be true. But you have the resources. There's a deficit of female players. And you enjoy playing. I I feel like, I know you laugh, but I feel like you could do it at least for a couple years. Like, Uh, it's real. (laughs) Number one, I wouldn't want to do the pickleball world a disservice by having me step on a court with these ladies who are phenomenal and way beyond anything I could achieve. But I think more than that, I, uh, I'm a terrible competitor. I am an absolute head case. If anyone's ever seen me play competitively in a tournament, they'll say she screams, she's, she curses. She breaks paddles. She throws paddles. She's almost injured people. Me too. She's almost been in fights. It sounds like you're describing Travis, even when you say she. Yep. <laughs> but she said in tournaments, in practice too. I go bananas. <laughs> yeah. I almost killed the guy the other day. Anyway. Oh, oh. Wow. Can we have that story? It sounds better than mine. Well, no, you can go ahead. You finish because yours is more important. <laughs> I was just gonna say I'm not built for it. Not built for it. Mm. And I, I don't want to put anyone else through that or myself. I think I'd end up in the insane asylum. All right, all right. Oh, we got we got uh, our peeps in the background <laughs> dancing to the beat, Austin and guys <laughs> screaming at us back there. This is this is your hometown, guys. You've got all the support. I was going to ask you that. We do. There's a lot of people we know playing this weekend, which we love about the Orlando tournament, Orlando PPA. But I was going to ask you, what is what is your favorite location for tournament wise for you? Mm, gosh, that's tough. California is awesome. Uh, mainly because you can hit the beach after you're finished with the tournament, get a day off. Um, Vegas is fun. I let Vegas take me once in a while. Okay. Um, Those are both great choices, I think. <laughs> uh, and you got a Vegas coming up pretty soon, yeah, I think, right? End of year, too. Oh, yeah. It's going to be yeah. exciting. The yeah. team championship at Mandalay Bay. That's right. Yeah, That's it's it. going to be massive. It's our first time doing anything like a team event, and it's uh, uh, at least on the PPA side of things. And 
the players are really excited for it. Lots of money on the line. I think it's one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Oh wow! I did uh, not for that know event that. alone. I'm curious how they're going to lay the court where they're laying at the Mandalay Bay. Is it is it inside the Mandalay Bay? Like it is. It in, it's it in their is. convention center at the okay, bottom of perfect. the building. Yeah, yeah. It's huge, yep. and they're laying I think like close to forty pickle roll courts out. Oh wow! Whoa. And then, pickle roll is yeah. cashing in. Good for you. They're Shout good. out to pickle roll. Yeah, no, they are good. <laughs> yeah, you played on them, right? <laughs> it actually feels remarkably good. The Depends best on the surface temporary. under a lot. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. So I've heard that too. It's all concrete flooring in the mm -hmm. convention center. Perfect. Which should be so good. So it should be a high bounce. Yeah. Because the only complaint that I've had or heard is that it bounces low. Okay. Travis and I, I'm trying to convince Travis to go out there, not to play PPA. It's a little too late, I think, for us to sign up for that. But for the draft. So the Major League Pickleball draft is that same weekend. I think it happens right before the tournament. I can't confirm or deny because we haven't put that out. Oh. But it's a good good guess oh, there. Oh, well, edit that out, Rowan, if I'm in trouble. But uh, there, may, there may or may not be a draft happening for MLP sometime in the near future in Vegas. It's happening, for Christ's sake. By the time Rowan edits this and gets it out, it'll be the 15th, so we're not worried about it. <laughs> True. All right, so something else... Well, I, then I want to ask you is, what do you think about the merge of Vibe and MLP? What are your feelings on it as a, a PPA employee and commentator and on-court personality? And I don't know what else you do, snack and Thanks, beverage. Keep it I, like, I like it. <laughs> beverage. Jack of all things. <laughs> right. Um, oh, we, I mean, the PPA, we were nothing but super excited and thrilled it happened. I mean, it's the best thing for the sport. Um, I think we always wanted to make something work with MLP, and we've been and communications throughout the entirety of 2022, you know, offering different terms, offering different deals, going back and forth, and nothing came together until finally we were like, well, okay, let's start our own team event so that our players can play in it. And then MLP is like, well, okay, it does make sense to work together. It makes sense. Everyone should, we should all be in this together. And, and pickleball makes more sense. I mean, how many articles do we read in 2022 about the division, the fragmentation of pickleball? That's not what we need. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the news likes to poke because that's what they do, you know, try to get a rouse out of us. But same so over here on the MLP side, we're ecstatic as well. Like just to have all the players, hopefully, all the players playing in the same place and being able to enjoy that team experience that we love so much oh, yeah. is great. See different players playing together, all the top players from both tours coming together and competing side by side. There's nothing better than that. And it's supposed to be all really great venues next year, like the, like this venue, like the oh, PPA yeah. venues and California venues, like you said, San Clemente and yeah. some of those lifetime fitness facilities. And more money than ever before. So it's going to be good for every player. If you're picked first or you're picked last, you're going to have a great event six events yeah yeah all right awesome we're excited about it too travis is there anything you've wanted to ask hannah that you haven't asked before um <laughs> no. he's like no i don't think about her no. uh, i don't have any engaging questions for hannah, hannah at the moment uh i could have maybe gone into my database but no okay but no. as an mlp team owner as you are what do you think of the I, mean, I think comparable to what you said. I've always wanted to see all the best players in one singular space. The fragmentation of pickleball was always a detriment to the sport. And I'm a purist, you know. I'm, obviously, everybody wants to make money, and it's in an infant stage, so people are going to try to build up their tour and, and corner the market. But um, but seeing all the best players now where there's not that, that stupid conversation of this league doesn't have enough depth, this league doesn't have good players, whatever it might be, I'm glad to see that that's done. Absolutely. That's what we needed. All right. I'm sure you've been asked this question before, Hannah. Is it easier to always do the on-court post-interviews when it's your brothers, or does that make it more difficult? Definitely easier. Easier? Yeah, because, you know, you never know what you're, who you're talking to, what they're going to give you, right? If it's your brothers, you have a lot more familiarity with what they might come up with. So there's the sense of taking all the unknowns out of the equation. So you go out there, you know what you're going to get. Maybe they'll make a joke or laugh or whatever. But that's it's all in fun. Whereas with other players, especially if maybe you don't know that player very well, um, maybe they just they've had like kind of a crappy day. Maybe they don't like um, something that happened, you know. And, and you don't know what kind of personality you're going to get, what emotions they're going to have. Maybe they don't like the way you frame the question, and suddenly you've got a full on media nightmare on your hands when they go off about yeah, something yeah. or they don't respond the way that you expected them to. Because it's live, and these are live, too. Which exactly. Makes, yeah. So there are no edits out, right? So I actually get most nervous when it's somebody that I haven't spoken to before. That makes sense, yeah. And I, I forget, it is difficult to do what you do out there because 
I've kind of done it and I, I'm like, how does she keep going? And, but you're getting better at it too. I, I've been telling you this over the years. There's no question you're getting better and better every year. It, it, oh, thanks. Yeah. It's yeah. easier now. It used to be painful. <laughs> 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 okay, Rowan, I had some more questions. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I what, think you had some too. Yeah. You're from, are, are you from Tampa originally? No, I'm from okay. Maryland. Okay. But I lived in Tampa for a year and my family spent like three months out of the year every year for like 10 years. When we were kids in uh, like Estero, Naples area. Oh, cool. Okay. So we know okay. Florida very well. We kind of consider it the second home. Yeah. Okay. So you moved from Tampa to Austin. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay. How like long six ago was that? Ago. Okay. Why? What? What prompted the move? Um, location mainly because it's in the middle of the U.S. and I was so sick of going east to west coast to back and forth because we have most of our tournaments out there and it's just a brutal commute, you know. And then uh, Ben and Colin were living there, so they have a place down the street for me, which was great. And then the new PPA headquarters will be in Dallas. So when we eventually make the move there, it, it's a lot easier Where's for me to get there. It's in Salt Lake City. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was in Dallas already. Oh. Yeah. Do you like Austin? Do you like I it better than... I love Austin. You I do? know you have a mixed opinion on this and you do not like Austin, but I think you just haven't experienced it I don't, to its fullest capacity. I don't dislike Austin. <laughs> I it's like the best city in Texas. Yeah, that I agree well, on completely. Yeah. Hey, 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 you know, we got maybe some places. people from Texas eventually, but... Aren't hard to be. Well, you said it, not me. Um, the armpit of the universe. Edit well, we went out. to a dark place. My sister lives there, so I can kind of say that with love. She lives in Louisville, which is great, I'm sure. I don't know, I, I, I like Austin. Don't... I just don't like it as much as St. Pete. I don't like it as much as home. So, sure. and well, that's, that's true. Yeah. And I gave you a hard time because you were leaving your family, but technically you were leaving your family to be with more family. So you didn't really leave your family. That's a hell of a shot. So you're happy you oh, made that the was move. A great shot. Oh, yeah. Super. I'll tell you, t Austin is livelier. Maybe in St. Pete area, it's different from Tampa, but it has St. Pete is so, way different than Tampa. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I never really experienced St. Pete, so I don't have a great opinion on it, but it's young, it's vibrant, it's lively, it's musical, it's artistic. There's always something to do. You've got two bodies of water, so people are always out there doing that. Sounds like St. Pete. It's yeah, there's a lot so, of parallels. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, but obviously the music scene in, in Austin is a little bit more yeah. prevalent. I did it but, wrong, guys. I should have lived over in St. Pete. No question. It's I everyone mean, that goes there, knew. Or move, they I didn't all know. say, yeah. I lived 30 miles from there for four years. Went to St. Pete once. Had no idea that there was a gem right, right beneath me. Is that where you're at now? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we live like a block from each other. We're like your brothers. Whatever. Graham, you guys are living together. I know. I wish. We were close. We were neighbors for about six months. Literally, door. Graham actually needs me out of his place in like 15 days, and I'm just going to go so slow, so he has to deal with me. Like That's for, not funny, and it's a true two story. Days, for two days inside his place, I'm going to be his roommate, and he's going to hate it. He's renting He's renting the place that I move into on the 10th. Oh. And uh, I need the 17th, so I there's know, a little suspect it's the 10th. information. I need a week to move, so I need him out. Immediately, and he doesn't seem to be really searching for a new place, <laughs> That's which not is true. starting to bother me. That's not true. I've been trying. Uh, he's not getting out of there. Good luck. Exactly. You guys true. remind me of that movie Step Brothers. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm not sure who's who. Did we just become but... best friends? <laughs> yup. Yup. So the next thing we know, Jess is going to be out, and you guys will be building bunk beds. <laughs> she already calls him my boyfriend, so yeah. it's it's kind of already there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jess. Uh, Hannah, we got, um, what's, what's something that I guess that you've like, some of the people don't know about you, you know, maybe oh, you've never gosh. talked about. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, personal information. Yeah. That's a hard one for me. <laughs> oh, come on. Put it out there. No one watches uh, our podcast anyway. We had like exactly. 50, 52 views last oh, week. Oh gosh. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> I do not believe you. I bet a lot of people are going to see this and it's going to be super <laughs> embarrassing for me. <laughs> I don't know. I, what's a skill that you have that's an, uh, like an unknown skill? Yeah. Um, like, can you play the piano? Do you play any musical instruments? No. Nothing. No, I'm I'm actually talentless. Um, speak any languages? <laughs> nope. I actually yeah. did. I actually did speak Czech when I lived overseas there. Okay. Basic Czech. I, it was enough to get by at like doctor's office on the transportation and stuff That's like a good that. One. Um, yeah. So nobody den for all of you out there who can speak college? it. College. Um, I did go to college. Is that okay. what you're asking? Yeah. <laughs> That's not an insulting question. Do you question. know what college is, Hannah? <laughs> well, I'm asking where she went. I went to University of Maryland. You also, okay. With English and psychology. Nice. And uh, I love to write. I've written, actually, a number of novels. Never fully completed one, but I do love to write. Put them all together and then publish it as one thing. Yeah. It's an assorted, like unfinished works <laughs> yeah. okay. by a non-genius. 
And I actually, not a lot of people know this, but I, I always put this on my two truths and a lie when I used to do those stupid things in college. I have a sure, condition college, yeah. called uh, dermographia. It means writing on the skin, literally. And I have overactive white blood cells, so if I scratch on my skin like this, I it just will raise saw a an, fact like, on that. It will raise up in a welt, like real. You can is that bad write your name. Or is that a cool you can thing? do like tic tac toe boards, That's especially. Awesome. And it's, I it's literally weird. just read this fact like three days ago. <laughs> really? Like, I swear to Not you. A lot of and they know were what it is. they were showing all of the people like making basically like tattoos in their arms yep. because of the. You can write reaction. whatever you want. That's you have that. Yeah. How so am I supposed to go play? Am I playing or not? You should play. <laughs> Play. I say yes, right? Fight. He wants Fight. to withdraw like, from right, the no, back then you guys finish with You're in your hometown. Yeah, play. Come on. All right. Get out of here. Hey, try not to suck as bad as you did in the last, the last round. Hey, Graham, go fuck yourself, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right down there. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Well, I like it. I like it. Who is it? Is it Kuzmiter? No, it's the other guy. Ronan oh, Ronan. Wow. Oh, wow. Good for him. Okay. Hannah, is there anything that you have for us before we yeah, you got wrap any, it up any here? Any hot takes or anything, mm. like pickleball takes, you know? Oh, gosh. Yeah, you got any gossip we don't know about? Yeah, yeah, future stuff we should look out for. Mm. Do you have a team that you're going to root for in MLP? Like, is there, oh, here, that's a good one. Is there a celebrity, new celebrity owner that is, like, you're going to be watching or, like, most excited about in Major League Pickleball? Um, well, I kind of have a crush on Michael Phelps since he, we did the celebrity exhibition in the beginning of this year. Okay. And he's... So nice, and his wife is even cooler than him, which I don't mind saying. But um, they're amazing. I'm probably going to be trying to get in their booth and sit there with them and watch their team compete. So yeah, there are a lot of team owners that haven't been announced yet. There's some really exciting names on there, and there are definitely ones who I'm gonna I'm gonna go fangirl over when they come out. You're supposed to say Florida Smash, but whatever. Okay. I mean, cool. yeah, those those are cool, cool owners. Cool dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Cool dudes. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time. Yeah, Sorry, you. Travis had to take off for a match. That's just why we do it here. So it's the disrespect. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Hopefully, he beats this Ronin guy. <laughs> uh, but Ro, anything else you got for us? No, that's that's everything. Thank you. Thanks, All right. guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Selkirk. Tennis sucks. Uh, we're out. <laughs>